because he knows how to take care of it. Are you gonna sit there? Are you gonna do the Glenn Campbell style way? Is that it? You do the Glenn Campbell style way. Well, so now I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a story. Once upon a time, by the time I get to Phoenix, you'll be in Arizona. Hey, uh, are you ready to go, do you think? Are we ready to go? Yeah. Are you guys the band ready? Yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, well, it gives me great pleasure that I've been doing for so many years I forgot how long it's been. 20. 35. That's somewhere around there. But uh, I always like to say this every Friday at this time, 99.1 PLR. The Wigmaster! Now, if you're like I was yesterday, yowzy, 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 by the way. Perhaps I've been violating just a little too much. <clears throat> Let's start over. Yowzy, yowzy, yowzy. If you were like I was yesterday when you heard about the storm and everything else, you probably walked around going, oh, this is a building down. What a storm. Oh, God. You call this a storm? This was. Uh, no. The weather gods heard that, and this morning they decided to kick our ass. Do not taunt the weather gods. They will kick your ass. I don't know if you're aware of it, but Prince Charles, who's been chomping at the bit to take over as the King of England, was already last week. Oh yeah, the Queen came out of the throne room into the area and she goes, oh, Charles, I believe I'm soiled myself. It's, I believe this is explosive diarrhea. <laughs> so they took her to the hospital and uh, Charles was, he was testing the crown out and everything else. But then they said, no, it's just stomach trouble and they let her go. <laughs> let me tell you, Charles was very, very pissed off. This week, the little jug-eared Martian in North Korea actually said that he was going to nuke us. Yeah, right. <laughs> he actually said he was going to declare war on the United States. Does the, do they not have a history books in North Korea? Perhaps he should just hop on a little plane. It wouldn't take much. Go down to Japan and talk to the emperor and ask the emperor what it's like when you attack the United States. <laughs> I believe the Japanese found that out. Uh -oh. yeah. Perhaps he could ask Bin Laden. Oh wait, he can't ask Bin Laden because we turned him into a drink. Two shots and a splash. <laughs> what is wrong with this little prick? He needs an ass kicking. No, is what he needs, just a straight ahead, good old fashioned ass kicking. I feel so far bad for the people in this country because they're starving and he's hanging out with Dennis Rodman. I don't even think I would want to hang out with Dennis Rodman. But I guess if you're a midget and you're a dictator, you've got to hang out with whoever you can hang out with. You have your resumes in? Two openings this week. Starting Tuesday, they're looking for the new Pope. <laughs> and that uh, dictator of Venezuela is open. You might get that too. Either way, you're going to be the infallible ruler of millions of people. They decided to come up with a new medal. Which I, have, I, I don't have a problem with. They're going to give medals to drone pilots. All right, drone pilots. The guys who do the drones over there. However, in the gradation of where it stands, the drone pilot medal is above the Purple Heart. What? Yeah, exactly. Really? How the hell can that be? The drone pilot who sits in Nebraska running a, a, a video game where he gets to kill real people instead of, you know, Special Ops Operation 2 or whatever, gets a higher medal than the grunts on the ground who are taking fire from asshole Afghans. 
This is not right. You should write your congressman. You should write your people. Senate filibuster. Senate filibuster. <laughs> Funny you should bring that up, Mr. Rand. <laughs> Paul's boy. I like, I, I, I was a huge Ron Paul fan. Rand Paul, when he stood up there and started ranting, I said to myself, he's just another nut job. But he brought up some really good points. No one in this government ever said, uh, no, we won't kill Americans on American soil with our drones. He had to ask them to clarify that. So yeah, I gotta hand it to Rand Paul. He stood up. He should have had a catheter and a, a, a pee bag strapped to him, or he could have gone a little longer than the 12 hours he did. But when nature calls, you gotta go. We turn the clocks ahead this weekend. Why would you cheer losing an hour of your weekend? What the hell is wrong with you? And it's gonna, it's gonna fuck up the whole time-space continuum. You know Monday and Tuesday are just not gonna seem right. It's gonna go that much faster. It's, it's, what, and, and then you're gonna, it's just, I don't understand why we have to change the clocks at all. None of us are farmers, are we? Few of them, few of you probably ride some bulls, but that's either here or there. But what we have to realize is because they're turning the clocks ahead, we are losing an hour of fun. And that means that we need to get to the fun right now at hand and get to it. We need to deep down reach in, suck the marrow out, and big out, bark out, and freak out to the best of our God-given abilities, do we not? Yeah. We need to do three things. And they are what what are they now? Well, first we got a yeah. What was that? Yeah. Second. Third. Yeah. Second. Big out, board out, free out. Let's put it all together. Big out, board out, free out. Big out, board out, free out. Again. Big out, board out, free out. I can mean it. Big out, board out, free out. Yes. Big out, board out, free out. Yeah. Big out, board out, free out. Yes. Big out, board out, free out for this the almighty weekend, the second weekend of March. 2013, there are now less than 300 days left in 2013. Oh, don't less than 300. That means some have gone by. Have you had fun yet? Oh, yeah. Let's make sure we do now. Because we have Giata. Because you salute, Yata. Salute. Salute. Yata. Oh, salute again. Yeah, yeah, winner. Yata. Warmed up. Yuki!
to 